Morning, everyone. Now let's see uh, the activity for next week. Okay, you have to give me back until next week. Um, don't forget, if you want to receive one point, you have to send me back until Tuesday, right? As always. Guys, number one, the answer from the last activity is, look at the picture and, and answer the questions below. So we, you have letter A, it is sunny in London. Letter B, it is rainy in Bristol, okay? And number two, we have two boys here and the weather, it is cloudy, okay? And letter B, they are playing soccer, okay? Teacher. Um, ju just a minute. Okay. In, the, okay, in the end, we talk about, okay? In the end, just, just a minute. And on page 82, Exercise two, we have A, stormy, letter B, foggy, letter C, windy, letter D, snowy, letter E, hot, letter F, sunny, letter G, cold, letter H, rainy, letter I, cloudy, okay? And on exercise three from the same page, we have here, let me show you, let me remember, what we did on these uh, pages. We have the pictures here. You have just to tick, okay? And on number letter A, we have here, um, it is cold, okay? So you have to tick the second picture. Let me show you here. Letter here, letter B, you have to tick the second picture, letter C, um, I, it's windy, so you have to tick the second picture. Letter D, you have here, uh, it is, letter C, I'm sorry, letter C, it is sunny, so you have here, I didn't, I didn't tick here, but is this one here, tick, the first picture. Letter D, you have, let us see, on page, uh, to page 83, letter D, we have, it is rainy. rainy. Teacher, eu tenho uma dúvida, aqui okay. na C. Just a minute, let's, let's see, we talk in the end, okay? Take, uh, guarda a tua dúvida, your question, okay? Lá no finalzinho a gente conversa, we talk about, right? Okay? Vamos só passar toda a correção. We see all the correction. E aí a gente tira as dúvidas no final, right? And letter, uh, so letter D, it's rainy. You have to tick the first picture. Letter E, it is, um, let me see, sunny. So you have to tick the first picture. And letter F, it is rainy. You have to tick the second picture, okay? The other exercise, observe the picture below. <clears throat> I don't know, and you observe, sorry. Um, and you have to do uh, the exercise of page 84, the brown box. Here, the brown box, this one, remember that. And you have the adjectives. Don't and a primeira, on the first column here, we have the nouns, okay? There are some nouns. On the second column, you, ha you have to put, you have to write the adjective. Então, quais são os adjetivos aí? De snow é snowy. Então, lembrando sempre, é, eu recebi algumas dúvidas. Ah, teacher, como que, qual é a diferença do snow sem o y e, qual é, e, e com o y, right? Snow sem o y, neve. Snowy uh, com o y é para descrever o tempo, está nevando, uh, está com neve. Então, toda vez que você usar o y no final, why in the end of the words, like sunny, cloudy, rainy, stormy, é para descrever o tempo. 
Eu não posso, por exemplo, se alguém perguntar para vocês, how is the weather? Uh, eu não posso falar simplesmente, it's snow. Nós temos que falar, it's snowy. It is sunny. It is cloudy. Então, toda vez que for descrever o tempo, describe the weather, we have to use why in the end of the words. Don't forget, ok? Sem o why, não está descrevendo o tempo, tá? Está só dizendo o que é. Por exemplo, o sunny uh, vai ficar sun. E aí sun é sol. Sunny vai ficar ensolarado, ok? É sempre para descrever o tempo quando a gente tem o Y no final. Algumas, além do Y, ganham mais algumas letrinhas, que é o caso do sunny, né? Vai dobrar o N e colocar depois o Y no final, mas sempre para descrever o tempo, tá? De vez em quando eu vou perguntar, só um pouquinho, just a minute. De vez em quando eu vou perguntar no grupo, how is the weather? Eu quero ver quem é que vai ser o mais rápido. The fastest one, ok? Segura a dúvida que no final a gente tira, right? We talk about. Now, the second part. Então essa é a parte that you have to, to give me back, ok? Uh, we have here... Canadá, ok? The seasons, the four seasons of Canada, right? Canada? Canada. Oh, yeah, Canada, yes. I was, como eu falei em português, eu acabei misturando, right? As pronúncias. Like Canada. Yeah, like Canada. Uh -huh. Very nice. So we have uh, the four seasons of that. We have winter, we have spring, we have summer and fall, ok? Winter, how is the winter in Canada? We have height of winter is freezing cold, right? And lots of snow, okay? Spring in Canada can it snow through April and tulips in bloom. Então, as tulipas florescem, elas uh, começam a florescer aqui in spring in Canada, right? In summer, How is the weather during summer in Canada? We have hot, humid weather. Extended daylight, então o dia dura mais. Hours in the north, only in the north part of Canada, ok? And fall, leaves turn orange. Então as folhinhas vão ficar o quê? Orange, red and yellow, right? Good time to travel to Canada, right? So... If you want to travel to Canada, this is a good season to travel. Fall, okay? Because it's a good time, right? So, you have to pay attention to these pictures here and answer. How is the weather during summer in Canada? So, you have to say, in during summer in Canada is, and you look here, An answer, ok? Letter B. How is the weather during winter in Canada? You take a look here, ok? You observe the picture. Winter and you answer letter B. Letter C. How is the weather during spring in Canada? So you come here and uh, you answer according to the text, ok? And how is the weather during fall in Canada, right? You pay attention here and you answer here the question, right? Teacher, just, just a minute. Ser... This is for next week, uh -huh. just a minute. And okay. after that, you're welcome, honey. Uh, you have page 86 and... Exercise 8, right? So you go to page 86, just to pay attention, okay? And you have some boxes here about uh, the season, spring, summer, fall, and winter, right? You have to write here how is the weather during the seasons, okay? You have to, to use the words to describe the weather that, okay? So you have to, to use the words to, to describe the weather in Campo Grande, 
Okay, for example, how is the weather during spring in Campo Grande? Ah, it rains a lot, it's hot, ok? Aqui então vocês vão usar uh, essas boxes to say the weather in Campo Grande, ok? Então como que é? How is the spring? Como que é a primavera em Campo Grande? How is the summer? How is the fall? Como que é o outono? How is the winter? How is um, all the seasons here in Campo Grande, ok? Um, after that, you have an exercise. Então eu peguei uma, uh, took a picture here from a very famous place in Brazil, right? And you pay attention, you observe the picture, and you tell me, where is this picture? And you tell me here, it is in... -na 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 -na. You have to tell me, you have to write, okay? E aqui, this is an explanation. Just a minute. This is an explanation. This is a greenhouse, guys. It's a greenhouse. The name of this in English, okay? Greenhouse. What is a greenhouse? Is a structure enclosed by glass, generally by glass, right? And use it for cultivation or protection of tender plants. So, this is a greenhouse, okay? This is structure here, right? So, uh, you have greenhouses in many places in the world, okay? And the question of letter B is, do you know a greenhouse? You have to tell me yes or no, okay? After that, you go to page, please, take your books. You go to page 87, exercise one. There are two pictures here, two pictures, right? Uh, the first picture, uh, the question is, where are they? Okay, and I just, the first one, I did it for you. They are at a greenhouse, right? So here, if you observe the picture of page 87, you can see that they are uh, at a greenhouse, right? And the letter B, the other question is, what are they doing? You observe and you write. They are... Ta -na 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 -na. The other question, what are they wearing? So you, you can say, oh, they are wearing t-shirts. They are wearing... Okay, you have to see their clothes and pay attention and write down. And the other one is, how is the temperature inside this, inside the place? Okay, and you have to think about how is the temperature here, right? And another exercise, you have to observe the picture. Here, take a look, cold at five degrees Celsius, very cold. Huh? And hot, it's 30 degrees Celsius, it is hot. Ok? Que para nós, 30, 30 degrees Celsius não é muito tão quente assim, né? É hot, it's hot, né? Yes. É, talvez para os estrangeiros, 30 degrees Celsius seja bem, bem, bastante, é, bem quente, right? But for us, Campo Grandenses ou quem mora em Campo Grande já não é mais tão hot, so hot. Okay, but the temperature here is 30 degrees Celsius, right? Page eight, on page 87, no exercício abaixo daquele que nós uh, conversamos antes, anteriormente, is this one, number two, how is the temperature in these places? Match the sentences with the degrees Celsius. So the first one I did for you here. 
letter A, 40, uh, it's 40 degrees Celsius, so you have to match. It's hot and dry, okay? And letter B, uh, it's 10 degrees Celsius, so you have to match with the correct answer, okay? Para fazer também esse exercício aqui que eu peço das clothes, I, I just have here some examples of clothes, clothes here, right? So we have a belt, we have a blouse, okay? Uh, we have boots, cap, coat, okay? Dress, gloves, hat. Hoodie, que é aquele casaco que tem o, o capuz, right? It's hoodie, jacket, jeans. The other one, quando eu coloco essas duas bandeirinhas, right? One is uh, from the US and the other, essa daqui, right? The US and the other, the UK, right? United Kingdom, right? Reino Unido. So we have here overalls, pay attention, right? In American English, overalls, right? In uh, UK, dungarees. So the same name, tá? Ah, na prova, qual que eu vou pedir? Não, não, se, não se preocupe, tentem uh, entender os dois nomes, tá? Não, não precisa decorar nada, tentem associar, é, perceber que tem uma diferença, tá? nas duas línguas e ambos estão corretos, right? Uh, the other one, pajamas, pajamas, é, só muda aqui, a pronúncia é, é basicamente a mesma, tá? In the US and the UK, só vai mudar aqui a escrita, pay attention. In the US, you have letter A, and the UK, you have letter Y, right? And here, panties or knickers, right? So we have here, uh, in, sempre a, a bandeirinha de cima é the US, is from the US, and a bandeirinha de baixo, the flag of uh, here, you have uh, UK, okay? Pants and trousers, right? You have these two names for that. Raincoat, então quem não conseguir entender direito é uma capa de chuva, tá? It's a raincoat. A scarf, então a scarf é esse cachecol aqui, right? Scarf em ambas as línguas, right? Shirt, ok? Uh, shoes, right? Shorts, skirt, socks, suit. Sweater in the US and jumper in the UK, right? The other one, sweatshirt and sweatpants. Então, é aqueles moletons para a gente fazer exercício, tá? Ok? Aqueles, aquelas roupas que a gente usa geralmente. Ou para fazer exercício, tem gente que, que, que gosta de, de usá-la também. Uh, para sair, enfim, uh, mas muita gente usa para malhar, right? Swimming trunks, tá? A gente pode falar swimming trunks ou a gente pode falar também, you can say, uh, aqui ó, pay attention, swim trunks, tanto faz, tá? Então pode ser swimming trunks, this one here, or swim trunks, this one here, ok? Swim suit, né? For the girls, quem usa maiô, uma peça única aqui. Swim suit, right? And bikini, for two pieces, right? Or, tem gente também que fala one piece bathing suit. Quase ninguém fala assim, tá? Mas é só reconhecerem que pode aparecer em algum texto escrito. Geralmente a pessoa fala ou bathing suit or swimming suit, tanto faz, right? Então, tem tie, tem a gravata, right? T-shirt, underpants, right? And here, cap. Cap é bem comum, né? Já tem em português, não sei se é que fala cap. Né? Uh, sunglasses, straw, hot, que é esse chapéu aqui, mas é o de palha, tá? Que tem um hat. 
é o chapéu normal, e o straw hat, que é o chapéu de palha, right? And here we have swim trunks, ok? Flip flops, ok? I love flip flops. Hawaiian shirt, ok? Uh, Para quem gosta das mais estampadas aí, floridas tal, Hawaiian shirt, t-shirt, então tem algumas uh, que já, aparecer, já apareceram aqui, né? estão aqui novamente, t-shirt, t-shirt, polo shirt, ok? This one, uh, polo shirt, a gente também fala em português, polo shirt. The other one, singlet, que é aquela camiseta sem manga. Right? Shorts, right? Tank top, ok? Bikini, one piece bathing suit, overalls, que a gente já falou aqui, and dress, right? Now, sorry, go to page 88, exercise 4. Então, acompanhe e follow in your box, page 88, we have here. This page, right? Exercise 4. Então, tem uma pergunta aqui, a question. Let's see the question. What do you wear? What do you wear? Então, que você usa according to the seasons of the year. For example, então eu coloquei o meu exemplo aqui, tá? Aí vocês vão usar, colocar o que vocês, what you wear. Tá? O que vocês costumam usar de acordo com a estação. I wear dress and sunglasses during summer. Ah, por exemplo, no, no meu não quero falar do summer, eu quero falar do winter. Então, vocês têm que lembrar de colocar as roupas que a gente costuma usar no winter, right? I wear jacket, I wear jeans. Ok? During winter, for example. You choose that. Ok? Page 88 uh, on exercise 5. You have two pictures. Ok? We have uh, uh, girls and a boy, girls and a boy. And you have, they look the same, but they are different. You have to tell me the differences. For example, Picture number one, the girl of the, the hat of the girl is red. Picture number two, the hat of the girl is yellow, okay? So you have to, uh, to find the differences uh, this, about these two pictures here, right? Teacher, what the Just, self, a, she says. Just a minute, okay? Okay. And the other one, we have page 88 green box we have here the green box here right and we have the name of the things the first one i did for you so the first one boots and you have uh shoes clothes we have accessories and you have to write the names of that if you have any doubts You can check here, okay? You can use this image to help you, right? So, this is uh, the last exercise for next activity, okay? I'll stop sharing and let's see all your questions, okay? Let's see here what you, you can all your questions right let me stop here please Ana Clara you you raise it your hand please tell me